drop in, and opt out. I'm Derek J. You're listening to Peace News Now, the best five-minute report on the growing peaceful resistance around the globe. Today is Friday, January 18th, 2013. Peace News Now would like to congratulate Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York for standing on principle when it comes to gun ownership. He pushed a bill through the New York State Legislature banning certain types of weapons. In a move that makes him the consistency hero of the day, he did not exempt the police or military from the law. This means that that, according to the law, current and retired police officers must turn in their large-capacity magazines and high-powered semi-auto rifles to be destroyed. If only Cuomo's New York legislation could extend to the entire U.S. military at its various occupations around the world, perhaps the people of Earth would have a chance at peace. Are you tired of the U.S. government killing people around the world? Are you tired of having to pay for their murderous rampage? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin is money that cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. Bitcoin takes the power of money from government and returns it properly to the people. By continuing to use the dollar, you are helping the government. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at weusecoins.com. Mike Piccione wrote the following excerpt for The Daily Caller. Let me be the first to suggest a common-sense gun regulation that will include and accommodate all Americans. Every able-bodied individual in America should be required to own a gun. In the recent American political tradition of justifying something because that's how a European country does it, I suggest we follow the Swiss. Not only do they love their watches and chocolate, but they also love their guns. They love guns so much their government picks up the tab to ensure that people own them and form militias. That's right, government-funded civilian militias are the foundation of the most peaceful of European countries. Swiss people are given SIGs, mostly SIG SG-550s. Now that is an assault rifle. A real assault rifle. The fully automatic kind, not the one-shot per pull-of-the-trigger semi-automatic rifles Americans own. Officers have the Sig Sauer P220 in 45 ACP in their homes. That ACP stands for Automatic Colt Pistol. Our American military is reduced to having the 9mm Parabellum. In an ironic twist of fate, the non-warring Swiss opted for a powerful American handgun cartridge for their government-sponsored civilian militia, and we, war-loving Americans, opted for a much weaker European handgun cartridge for our government-sponsored military. Swiss civilians are issued stronger handguns than the American military. Mull over that for a while. The Federal Constitution of the Swiss Confederation, Article 58, states, Switzerland shall have armed forces. In principle, the armed forces shall be organized as a militia. After your Swiss army training, you go home and become part of the militia for the next 10 years or so, and your gun goes with you. I think we all know by now that crime in the United States and gun control laws have a direct correlation. Chicago, Detroit, and Washington, D.C. are all gun control cities where you are more likely to get killed than in either of our theaters of war. Kennesaw, Georgia requires gun ownership. In 2007, the city was selected by Family Circle magazine as one of the nation's, quote, best 10 towns for families. In 1982, the Municipal Code of Kennesaw, Georgia was changed to state, quote, in order to provide for the emergency management of the city and further in order to provide for and protect the safety, security, and general welfare of the city and its inhabitants, every head of household residing in the city limits is required to maintain a firearm together with ammunition, therefore. Exempt from the effect of this section are those heads of the household who suffer a physical or mental disability which would prohibit them from using such a firearm. Further exempt from the effect of this section are those heads of household who are paupers or who conscientiously oppose maintaining firearms as a result of beliefs or religious doctrine. Guess what happened after the ordinance was passed? Crime dropped much to the displeasure of anti-gun groups that promised the people would suddenly become drunk with bloodlust and shoot each other. It never happened. Peace broke out and civility was waged among the people. That's all the time we have for today. Links to these stories can be found in this episode's show notes. For more peaceful news reports like this one, subscribe to this podcast and visit our website at peacenewsnow.com. Remember to connect with PNN on social networks and send your love mail to contact at peacenewsnow.com. For Peace News Now, I'm Derek J. Peace.